Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and today I'm going to show you how to get Pandy. And we're talking the 0.05-2 Pandy. Uh, this is the, the latest version of Pandy, and uh, that was recently removed from Cydia uh, for whatever reasons the developer, uh, you know, got rid of it. And, um, you know, now I'm going to show you how to get it. And uh, we're going to get it easy, uh, no more playing with file systems or anything. You're just going to download the deb file. Uh, the dev file is a file, it's the way Cydia wants you to package up your tweak or app uh, when you submit it to Cydia, and then this way the person who wants to download the app just opens up Cydia and clicks on the actual dev file, and it installs onto your iOS device. Uh, in iTunes, uh, Pandora, say for instance, uh, is an IPA file, and an IPA file is a app from the App Store. Um, for this video, uh, we're going to be going over what you need to get this Pandy uh, tweak. And uh, in case you don't know what Pandy is, Pandy is a tweak where you can go into Pandora and then a banner will appear and you can tap to import the song uh, into your iTunes library, uh, your iTunes app there. Or you can swipe to dismiss it uh, if you don't like the song or whatever reason. Uh, it'll also know what songs you have installed or already downloaded. And uh, that's a pretty cool tweak if you're trying to build up a nice uh, music collection to play anytime, anywhere. Uh, also, you can hook it up to your sync cable and you can sync it right to your iTunes just like if you would have had purchased it. So, now, let me show you first, prove to you that this is an iPhone 4 and it's running 6.1. Um, it's jailbroken. And it's part of one of the requirements. You have to be jailbroken. You have to have the Pandy 4.1.1 app, uh, that version. Uh, if you have the 4.2, it's too late. Or you could just remove it from your iPhone, remove it from your iTunes library in the music folder. Um, and you take that IP out of your music folder in iTunes and on the phone and you go search in your recycle bin on your computer and pull it out and reinstall it into iTunes and then resync your phone. So you have to have 4.1.1 or less, uh, less of a version. Or, and you also have to have an iOS device jailbroken and it has to be on the iOS 6.0 or greater. Uh, not the 6.1.3 because that's not jailbreakable. So we can't use that. Uh, and iOS 5, uh, the file system must be different on it. So the only problem with iOS 5 is when you get the Pandy app to work, when you download the song, it doesn't la download to the iTunes uh, library. It downloads to a download folder, uh, in which you can pull with iFile or some sort of file uh, SSH kind of thing, and you can throw it on your, you know, your iTunes, but it won't have album artwork and everything like that. So, that's the deal. Today, this video is about Pandora, 4.1.1 or less, a jailbroken phone. It's got to be on iOS 6.0 or greater. So, those, if you have those, then you're ready to rock and roll. Now, you have to go into Cydia, and there's a couple of apps that you need. Uh, just first of all, let me prove to you that I don't have uh, Pandy running on this. This is just plain old Pandora. I'll just pause that. And you don't see any tap to import. You don't see any of that. Let's go to the next song, and you'll see there's nothing. Nothing pops up like you see in my other videos about Pandy. Okay, so now we, we proved that. And then we also go into settings, and you'll see that you don't have any Pandy settings. Totally clear in your my wife's phone. This is an iPhone 4, and that you have no music whatsoever. Okay? So, first things first. You need to put two sources in if you plan on getting the uh, three apps that I need you to get. The first app is iFile. The second app is Safari Download Enabler. And then the third app is Pandora Downloader Enabler. Uh, and those three apps are the ones that you're going to need. And those three apps is because you're going to do everything from your iPhone. So, first things first, let's go into sources. The best sources to put in your phone is iHex Repo and uh, repo.insanely.com. 
uh, those two have a lot of uh, IPAs, I mean, uh, deb files, or actually tweaks and apps that you can download for free. So let's now go into packages, and I'll show you the three things you need. You need iFile, you need any version, you need down Pandora Downloader, any version, and you need Safari Download Enabler. Safari Download Enabler is if you're planning on downloading the dev file from your mobile Safari. You're going to need that. Or else you can do it from your computer and email it to yourself. It's small enough. File. Pandora Downloader, you're going to use because in the settings, you can do unlimited skips and you can do less advertisement. You also need iFile because you need to be able to manage your file system. And iFile has a neat little installer that you can use to install the dev file. Now there's two other things that install when you install with Pandy. Originally when I installed 0052 when it was available in Cydia, it also downloaded these two Gremlin Framework and Gremlin Plugin Pack. So we're going to need those too. Just search Gremlin and put the Framework and Plugin Pack in. So put iFile, put Pandora Downloader, and put Safari Download Enabler. Now you just have to install those. And when you're done, you're going to get the iFile app, you're going to get the Pandora Downloader, and in Settings, you'll see that you have Safari Download Enabler. Make sure it's on, and all these are checked on to on. Now, we're ready to go. This website, I'm going to put the link in the description, don't worry. You're going to open it up, and when you get to this website, let me give them props, www.sidevice.com. Uh, uh, I'll put the link to the exact post. Now, this site, you have to sign, you have to register. Register, put your username, password, put a little bit of information about yourself, sign up for their email or whatever. Log in, okay? You log in, and you click the link in the description, and you brought to this. Click and hold it. Let me just show you that again. That's a com.semaporepandy0052, blah, 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 dot deb, okay? So now you just click and hold it, all right? You hit download link file. It's going to open up in Safari download enabler. It says zero bytes. We have to do that again. Something went weird. It's either you click and hold and download link file, or you just simply tap it. It all depends. I, I, it, it's, it's finicky like that. So let's just do this, and let's press and hold again. Let's see if that works. And, ah, there it is, 51 kilobytes. You see it down there? That's how you know you downloaded it successfully with Safari Download Enabler. Now you see up here it says Open In. So you're going to click Open In, and guess what? You can open it in iFile. That's why you need iFile. Let's click iFile. Now automatically it's going to download to the var forward slash mobile forward slash documents. Okay? Don't worry about it. It's there in the background in blue. Just click Installer. Now what's going to happen is you're going to install the deb file for Pandy it says zero that means you did it right if it has any other number it's because you have the older version of Pandy you have to remove that first I should have told you that if not don't worry about it go back in Cydia remove the old version of Pandy come back here download it open it in iFile installer done you'll get the zero and now watch this we'll close out this we're going to respring our device first because you got to make sure everything takes effect. When we respring, I'll be back. I'm going to fast forward. Okay, so the iPhone has restarted. Not resprung, but it's restarted because we shut it down and turned it back on. So that's a restart. So we restart it, and now we're going to go to our Pandora app, and you're going to see. Get ready. You see this? No songs in my iPod app, okay? Come on. No songs in my iPod. No content, it says, okay? Here, let's go into Pandora. And the first time it loads, it loads a little slow like the first import, but don't worry, it gets very fast. Let's go into Pandora. All right, 
you're gonna get that little advertisement. Don't worry, they'll go away. Now you see here, tap to import. But that first one, the first time around, just let it go. And then swipe it away. And then you go, let's pause it. Then you go to the next song. Now watch the magic. The song is playing. I'm just going to pause it. And here it says tap to import or swipe to dismiss. I'm going to swipe that one. Nah, I don't want that one. Let's go to the next one. Tap to import. I really don't want that one, but I'm just going to do it for the sake of the video. So I'm going to install that. It says converting song for import. And guess what? You have Pandy 005-2, the latest Pandy. Not from the city store, but you downloaded it. You use my little tricks. You downloaded it right from your phone onto your phone. Installed it directly. And now you're going to enjoy any song recorded. Importing songs into library. The first time, like I said, it takes a little longer, but watch how fast it gets. It downloads fairly quick. So let's go to the next song just real quick. Song imported. Let's receiving song. Wait before skipping. Tap. Let's pause that. And it's going to import it. Then I'm going to show you the iPod app how we imported it into our music collection and then we'll play it and I'll show you that it works go ahead and hook it up to iTunes song converting song and it will convert the song importing song believe me it gets faster watch play with it for a little bit you'll see song imported all right remember that song that's a uh, goat whatever something somebody that i used to know okay here we go here comes the magic oh, no content oh maybe i'm wrong hey there goes goat there goes the song that we just downloaded from pandora fast forward it do whatever you want pause it flip the iphone get your little album artwork let's go to the other song that we downloaded Hey, you got Pandy. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, give me some love in the comments. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.